All About Heaven. That's the title of a brand new book, which pretty much does as a book what it says on the can. It takes an uncompromising and very accessible look at present heaven. That's the place where you and I go if we're Christians when we die. What prompted the writing of this book is another story and on December the 20th last year, the family together was stood around Joel's bed. Joel's my eldest son, 38 years old, and he'd faced two months of a brutal fight against a very swift, very unforgiving cancer. He'd been courageous to the end, but now was the end. And as my last words as dad left my lips, his last breath left his. The family said their last goodbyes. They made their last kisses and held his rapidly cooling hands for the last time. And I laid my cheek against his still slightly warm beard. And as I did, my mind was immediately full of questions. Where has Joel gone? What exactly is he doing and how come, as a church leader for four decades, a teacher and a preacher, I don't have the answer to those questions? And at that moment, of course, the book was birthed. There are many questions you ask when someone you love dies, particularly in such an unexpectedly brutal fashion. And I learned to ask a number of different questions. And one of them was, what can I do now that I could not have done before? And the answer to that question in part also lies in these pages. As I began to research present heaven, I discovered firstly, there's almost not a single book on it anywhere in any bookstore. There are scores, probably hundreds of books about the new heaven and the new earth, fantastic as that may be, but it still doesn't answer my question. I discovered that out of 4,258 pages of contemporary commentaries, less than two or three pages talk about present heaven. I also discovered when I talked to Christians that very few could recall a single message on heaven in their entire church life. Most of them were uncertain about what heaven was, where it was, what it was going to be like. And I discovered, to my amazement, very few people like talking about it. It's almost as if they're slightly afraid of what it might be like. Little wonder then that Isaac Asimov said, I fear hell, but I fear heaven even more. So in this book, we look at where is heaven? What exactly happens at the moment of death and when we die? We look at two places called heaven. We look at the conundrum. Why is it Christians are so ill-informed and so reluctant to engage and certainly in the main not excited about going there? We take the official tour guide of present heaven paradise, as it's called, through the lens of Jesus, Daniel, Paul and John. And then we take the unofficial tour guide, the trip advisor reviews, if you like, of near-death experiences that tell us something of what heaven might be like, including seven from our own church family. In other words, people I know, people I trust, and one amazing near-death experience from Captain Dale Black, an airline pilot, who died and found himself in heaven. We look at what we do when we get there. We look at an amazing discovery about the Lord's Prayer and the implications for us about heaven. We look at what angels do in heaven. 28 things we look at. And we look at six rewards that are waiting for us in heaven. And we ask this question, are you longing to go but willing to stay? Or are you willing to go and longing to stay? The answer to that question tells you straight away what your view of heaven is really like. And inside me, which I hope will come through the pages of this book, is this song. 
Going home? I'm always going home inside. There's an ache in my heart that I can't hide. And I hope this book will have its readers skipping with joy at the thought of what awaits them. Skipping with joy at the promises that have been made and skipping with joy at the certainty of what present heaven looks like, where it is, who we'll be with and what we're going to do when we get there. So All About Heaven is the book, 12 chapters that will tell every Christian, whatever their age, whatever their current view, what present heaven will really be like.